guys welcome back to my channel welcome to talk and Son. it's me ogechi welcome i'll say thank you so much for clicking on this video and uh, i'm hoping that you like it and um, this video i'm just going to sh no, take you on our journey or day-to-day -day journey through rome and on this day this is our first proper day in rome because we came in a bit late we came in actually the following day um to our booking so it, it was not the best time to come in as we came in early in the morning the host was nice enough because an airbnb he was nice enough to wait for us to we came um but we had to pay a late fee and there was also one thing i would say they also charge you for some sort of tax for coming to rome so they give that's the tax that so give you the gift to the government i don't know what that additional tax was about but I know it was something to do with uh, the I think perhaps it's what they pay to the government as well so they charge it to the customers but anyways that's by the way so the place that we stayed as I mentioned is an Airbnb and it's quite a nice spacious clean can I say clean spacious at the Tuki spacious clean very good standard and everything in this place was quality there was no um, from electrical device and other things is things that were in there there was no poor quality in the, the place everything was top-notch quality okay one thing I also loved about it is the pop of colors all everywhere um, in the previous image that you saw and on the right side of that image the one below is how the streets of rooms are kind of designed so there was pop of colors which brought brightness warmth and welcomingness that's the word uh, made you feel welcome to the space and also like yeah it's very inviting and also the pop of colors also included directly plants you know, the fake plants and stuff like that or artificial plants um so i'm not I must say like the place was super nice and i enjoyed it so much and yeah so that was what was nice about it i loved it loved it loved it loved it loved it loved it and another thing i say i loved was the way the buildings were built although they were all like literally in rome i don't know most of their way they build their building the type of concrete and solidness it feels like they're so solid it's not even it's like no joke it is it feels good to, to be in the space itself and the layout of the place um top notch so i don't know it had like it had everything that you needed to to the place uh, uh, listen i can talk about this place forever but let me just tell you a little bit more also that um it is bright it is airy it's pop of colors but also it's comfortable the beds were comfortable to sleep on they're quite different from the soft my sister says like it's not uh, the mattresses are not like the uk mattresses because it's not soft soft mattress it's hard mattress out there but that hardness is a nice hardness i don't know how to describe it maybe every country has a way uh, their bed or mattresses are designed but anyways that's by the way so for this place is perfect both for summer and winter you can book out book it yourself um if you want to um you will not regret it trust me and the host was responsive that's one thing i needed as well you know sometimes you have issue and sometimes hosts are not responsive but the host in this place was so responsive and it's contactable um although even if it's uh, whatever time he's able to respond to he'll be able to respond but uh, it's not one of those people that go silent and take your money and run. so everything about this place i actually like if you had an issue you try and resolve it as well so yeah that's really what the space looked like um the flooring as i mentioned i don't know if i mentioned you already is all tiles and that is suitable to the hotness of the country and the humidity of it as well so i'm going to let you guys just enjoy the space as i enjoy the space and just taking the place the place i'm showing you literally is the living room they we had like two you, um, the place consists of two bedrooms so I went with my sister had one bedroom she had one bedroom and then kitchen and bathroom and every essentials that you need 
but yeah taking the place and enjoy Okay, so that's where we are. I'm here on a holiday with my sister and what we're doing is just going around, seeing places, visiting various places in Italy. So this is our first time being in Italy and it's quite exciting to come. So, so far things have been good. Um, I'll tell you just for today, this is like the next day after our arrival. We came in quite late. I just want to say, super grateful that they host of our Airbnb or the place that we stay, stay in was kind enough to wait behind okay you have to pay a late fee but that's by the way like a late check-in fee but that's because our flight also was delayed that's not necessarily the reason but our flight was delayed at least we came at least one hour behind schedule almost so but that's by the way so we came in we just were so tired that we just slept off so that was it really for that day yesterday nothing special happened anymore and then yeah here we are the following day um the place we're staying is quite nice at Chega. i've just shown you about a bit about our living room um i wouldn't show you other places yet i'll probably show you later on but because we've kind of made use of it <laughs> I'll show you some of the places. It's not. It's, they're quite nice. It's really nice. The place we're staying is super nice. I'll recommend, recommend, recommend. Okay, um, if you wish to visit this place, and so I'll recommend totally. So I will tell you a little bit about what I've discovered so far because I, when I woke up, I got ready and then went to find some things to eat because this is the stuff catering service so went to the shops to get something to eat or things to cook one thing i must say is oh my gosh things are more expensive here in europe than it is in uk no joke things are way more expensive because something that will cost maybe 50 euro uh, 50 pounds pounds no one pound i mean could cost you about 150 euro yeah so even bread, drinks, okay, I'll give you an example, coke, I bought coke, this usually will be around £2, £2.99 in UK, I got this for oh, 3 .50. so imagine that then, so what I'm going to do today, is to go and do my nails so I'm not going to show you guys my nails because I feel dissatisfied with this outcome I tried to do my own nail acrylic by myself by doing an overlay but it didn't work out as planned it turned out to be like this <laughs> jokes <laughs> so I'm going to go and correct it I was trying to save money now I'm going to end up not only save money by doing it at home, so I'm going to spend more than I bargained for. But it's okay. I'm not regretting it because I know the what caused this issue is not what um, it's the brush that I used. It wasn't a good professional brush. But next time I know I'll do better. But for now I don't like it, so it's just catching up everywhere. It's no good. You can see it's quite literally. What is that? So what I'm going to do is go and. <laughs> get this removed and redo my nails so my sister is coming with me remember i traveling with my sister and we'll be vlogging together as we go along the way so yeah come and explore Rome with me with Tatanson and I hope to get 
bring you along the journey as you go along okay so on that note i'll go and show you guys a little bit about the place or the other areas of this place that we are staying in okay So we're going to get our nails done. I had to ask around for a place and they gave us direction but they didn't explain it quite well. So we're hoping to find a place. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to find it. Um, if we find it, great. So yeah, we're just going to try and find. Oh, check that out. You see that? Sitting on a hill. That looks so beautiful.
Alba. Poi quando c'è un attimo puoi venire. Please never more. <laughs> Please. Uh, never more.
Il semi? Eh, il mio ormone è Ah, oh, ok. Sono pure sui piedi da togliere. Come diceva Paolo, mi ha distretto i piedi. No. Sì, sto questa mattina. Okay, hi guys. So, as I was saying, I've been to Greece, I've been to Spain, I have been also to other places. And Nigeria, but the sun in Italy is so much different, at least in Rome, I can say that. So, yeah, that's the nails done. And I can definitely recommend, if there is Italian nail technicians, I would recommend going to them, as I would do for myself. So, they didn't finish taking out the acrylic. Um, and after all the filing, she was able to file down to the point where it's this literally reduced, um, literally close to my own nails, and that's why it started hurting a lot. So one of the things that I actually liked is that she took her time, and she also took her time to shape the nail. Honestly, to try and look, I look at this one for an example. She took her time to shape the nails. And this is one thing I haven't heard from any nail technicians. Uh, people that take their time to prepare your nails and shape it for the purpose. So, definitely, I've always used like the Chinese nail technicians, which are good as well. But I've never seen anyone pay attention to details, to your own nail, like the oh way if this Italian lady did. So, I would be definitely recommending Italian nail technicians or other alternative nail technicians so that you can explore how different people do theirs. Every nail technician has theirs. I asked for her to soak it off with the solutions that they use to soak up the acrylics but she said no to that and it's used for other purposes. So, um, but rather with this one it will come up on its own because I used acrylic. 
so what was on top of it the purple one that i showed you guys was actually gel but anyways so yeah that's really it so now i'm just going to out with my sister we're going into town um as the city center she says as where we are it's not the city center per se <laughs> so yeah we're going and don't mind this i didn't realize it's there but anyways yeah we're going to go now so yeah i'll definitely be trying other nail technicians so as to know how everyone does their own and choose my best ones i'll still go to the chinese ones it's just that sometimes it's good to explore and i i like what i saw today so yeah uh, when i go back home if this acrylic doesn't come off all like in the next two to three days i'll definitely go um i have a solution to switch off at home anyways so that's why i bought everything <laughs> um yeah so i still maintain it's the brush is not me the brush i used was such a bad brush she's like don't do it again don't do it again i was like uh <laughs> yeah but i think i'll still try until i get better they know my foot i wish i can uh, show you my feet i don't really like showing my feet anyways um my feet won't is perfect um i didn't put any acrylic on it i just did normal painting and stuff like that um so yeah my feet one is nice very nice if you're at like salon more than salon nice because i took my time to do it i know how to do my feet because i've been doing it for years i just haven't mastered my nails especially to do my right nails it's difficult because i don't know how to do it so hence why i always rely to professionals but yeah i'll stick to doing my own feet because i know how to do that one i've been doing it for years